Hi there, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in the Plough and Harrow in Hammersmith, and I'm going to recite my first poem of the New Year, uh, and a Happy New Year to you all. It's called um, His Neighbour's Backyard. I find it all quite amazing, the contrast of two opposites, all that goes on in between and at the ends of the human spectrum, simply awesome not always for the common good. I never cease to be astonished by progress, often sidelines, sidelined as I admire man's achievements. As a child watched as the Americans landed on our moon in the name of mankind. A human spectacle played out in black and white. And just look now, everything is in colour except the past. And just my luck, I'm colorblind, obviously missing out. But who knows what research and DNA has in store for me? Another giant leap for mankind. And yet there is another end to this human spectrum. The millions destined to be illiterate, unable to comprehend even the most basic maths and physics. Think crystal radio set. Those born into a hopeless life of starvation and deprivation. Those left to die of a preventable disease, as if a dollar is too big a price to pay for compassion. I could go on. The masses in the middle, scratching, cling to survival, for who knows what tomorrow will bring. All thinking that they know best, their views, the right views, the only views that matter, all desperate to earn a penny more than everyone else, and fuck anyone who gets in the way, the next door neighbour included. I despair, such brains we have that we are blessed with, a million times more complex than computers, and yet we fail time and time again to understand the complexities of life. We are emperors of the earth, the pinnacle of life on it, and yet the gap between the, between the ends of the spectrum, so great and so incomprehensible that I see no answer to the chaos we create and predict the self-destruction of mankind. Surely we are all born equal. All human brains have the ability to learn so why the big contrast? And is it the intelligence that we steal from others without their knowledge and the way we do it that sees man destroy everything in his path? Life on earth is not beautiful. We are sideliners watching the few play the game, changing the rules whilst on the field to suit themselves. Yes, sometimes we get a glimpse, a glimpse of the paradise created. But then you only have to look at both ends of the spectrum to understand that it is man who is destroying his own paradise by simply shitting in his neighbor's backyard.